What's up YouTube? My name is Wally Wally Visuals and welcome to another retouching video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create the frequency separation technique and also how you can record it in Photoshop. Without no delay, let's get into it. Welcome back. What is frequency separation? Frequency separation is a retouching technique that helps you to separate your image texture from the color and tone. And this technique involves some few steps that can be easily forgotten sometimes. And that's why I'll be showing you guys how to record your workflow and play them back on other photo. To do this, go on to Window, click on Actions. This box will show right up here. Click on this small box right here and select New Set. When you do this, name it whatever you want to. I will name this Workflow. Now, there's a folder for workflow. We want to create the frequency separation inside this workflow folder. Go back to this box again. Click on new action. Now we can name this our frequency separation. All right. Remember to set this to your first folder like this one should be set to workflow. And the function key here is just the shortcut. You can set a shortcut with any of these keys if you want to. So, but for this tutorial, I'll leave it on none and this color none. So it's on record. And whatever you do on Ensford from this point, this the um, the Photoshop will record these steps. Now, to create the frequency separation, the first thing you want to do is to duplicate your background layer. Let's go to layer, duplicate, and name this low frequency. All right, go back again, duplicate one more time, and name this high frequency. Now, select this low frequency layer or activate this low frequency layer. Uncheck the high frequency layer or disable the high frequency layer by turning off this eye icon here. The next thing you want to do is go to filter and blur. Select Gaussian blur. At this point, choose a radius that totally um, take out the skin texture but not too much make sure you don't go all the way up like something like this won't be acceptable you want to keep it like um, nine or thereabouts at this point we can't see the skin texture anymore so it's an okay all right go back to the first layer which is the high frequency layer turn it back on and go to image Select Apply Image. Now, don't forget to um, select your source, which is uh, ordinarily the, the image we're working with. This is the name of the image we're working with. The layer, make sure you set it to the low frequency. And your channel set to RGB. Uncheck this Invert box. And your blend mode should be set to Subtract. Opacity should be set to 100. Preserve transparency. Okay, check the box and your scale should be set to 2 and offset 128. If any of this is not correct with what I have here, then your frequency separation won't work out. Now, it's on OK button. Next thing you want to do is to change the blend mode to linear light. And when you do that, your image goes back to the original look all right now if i zoom in this image you can see it is just like our um, original image the background image so the next thing you want to do is group these two layers and name them frequency separation and that's it guys now go back to this part to stop your recording as you can see, all what we've done here has been recorded. 
and you can just play now let me delete this um, folder now let's say I want to apply the frequency separation on this image all I have to do is go to this part select frequency separation and hit the play button and just hold on for Photoshop to do the rest As you can see, these are saved up a lot of stress and time. Now I have my frequency separation here. Also, you can activate this box, the toggle dialog box, just for you to be able to edit any of this process. Now, if I delete this frequency separation, let me play it back when I check this box on. At every point where, where I need to impute a radius or a figure, this box will show up just in case I want to increase my radius or decrease it. Okay, so when I'm done, I'll just hit an OK and the process will continue. So the same thing here, if there's anything I need to change, I'll do that and hit an OK. It doesn't change anything it still goes on and play when you're done you can just name it whatever I'll just name this game frequency separation and hit an OK and that's it guys and if you don't want that to come up just turn this box off and hit an OK all right now to have this um, action saved on your computer all you have to do is minimize this folder by clicking on this arrow right here and go to this box again select save actions all right now you choose a name and directory where you want it saved so i'm gonna save my inside this um, downloads folder and click on save all right it's been saved now maybe you run into some photoshop problem and for some reason you can't find this anymore like the workflow folder all you just have to do is go back here since you've saved it on your computer go back here and select load actions go to the folder where you have it saved and double click straight up it comes right here and you can use it again and also you can share this um, action with anybody and all they just have to do is go through the same process and load it in Photoshop and use Thank you for watching today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. You don't want to miss the next video as I will be showing you how to use the frequency separation. And make sure you turn on the notification button. If there's any question or any video you want me to put up next, please let me know in the comment section. Till next time, bye.